Hello, this video tutorial is brought to you by How To Tutorial Videos. Now, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a basic web page or, or website in Dreamweaver CS3. So let's get started. And click on Dreamweaver. And on this tutorial, I am not going to use a pre made template that I have made. I'm going to start all the way from scratch. But I will go to um, frame set, click on blank template, down to HTML template. And this one we use right now, I'm going to use this one right here. Click create. Okay. Now that I have this, I have everything set up for HTML. Now for the heading, I'm just going to put demo website sidebar content we would make that our we would probably make that our navigational menu and we're probably I'm going to do that right now so go to spry this is net spry menu bar this is okay so remember to save it before you do anything file save Okay. Now I'm gonna add a menu bar. Yep. Click on wherever you want your menu bar to be. Click on spry menu bar. And click on horizontal or vertical, which in this case it will be vertical. Okay. I'm gonna first item be home. I'm gonna have the second item be Let's say pictures. I'm going to delete the other two, so I there's no need for them. Okay. Now we're gonna click File, New. Same thing. Click Create. Go up to the top. Put Demo. Demo website. Delete it. Okay, go up to the top. Go to Spry menu bar. Save it, sorry. Click on vertical. Click OK. It still shows another. So if you're still going to put the same thing as you put in the other page, so home. And pictures. There we go. I'm gonna delete these two. Okay. Two items. Now for this, click on it. Actually, sorry. We need to click on that. I'm gonna go up to layout. We're going to put insert div tag. Click new CSS style. Click OK. And click OK. Let's click on it. Actually, click on the text or highlight the text. Then click on the browse for file. And then you would search for the untitled DWT, which we've not saved yet, so let me go save that. Save it. Okay. Follow the text and go down to the link. And then find your file. Right there. Right up here. That, that, this would be the file. There's an HTML. And click choose. Click yes. Click save. Out of the pictures, since this is the picture page, we're still going to add a link. Save this page. So you can still add a link. And we're going to search 
Untitled 3.dwt. Stash now because this is a page. Sorry. Search, sorry, I need to search the whole Macintosh HD. DWT, click choose, and it'll open up just like that. Save it. Let's go back over to the home page. And I'm going to highlight the home. I'm going to click on link. Whether it be that page right here, pick the pictures. Oh, wait, sorry. One that I have right now, so it would be untitled 2. On the first one, click choose. I like this one, and we're going to add another link down by browse the file, find untitled 3.dwt. Right there, choose. And you have created links for you too. So, for an example, if you click on pictures, go to the picture page, click on home, it goes to the home page. Oh, excuse me. the first one. Click choose. Yes, save. Click base. Now you have links between the pages. Should be the CSS code. Now you have the links between the two pages. I have the content. Demo website. Sorry. Highlight everything. I'll, I'll just highlight this right here. You would put your main content right here where I'm highlighting, right there. That's where you put your main content. Maybe your, if you're on pictures, maybe your pictures. I'm sure how to insert your pictures today. Okay, delete that. Now go over to common. It says images. Go to image placeholder. After sorry, just image. You find the image that you want to make, or that you want to put in there. I have this picture of a Lamborghini. Click choose. Save everything that says. Alternate text. You do not have to do that. But if you do, well, you never, you pretty much never want to do that. And it shows, see how it's too big for it? And you can resize it down to the size of the page. I'd love that. Right there. Just like that. Now you gotta say add pictures. And then down at the bottom. Say you were a big company. You would put in uh I don't know whatever like rant like you put in your logo or the name of your company, then you would probably have a registered sign or a copyright sign. Sorry, copyright sign or a trademark sign. Okay. Thanks for watching this video. This video is brought to you by How To Tutorial Videos. Remember to rate, subscribe, and comment my videos. Okay, thanks for watching.